Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, good evening. You're watching Oman News First, the headlines. The Shura Council refuses to approve a recommendation by Youth and Human Resources Committee related to possession of public authority for manpower register. A group of investment opportunities for small and medium enterprises in exhibitions and conferences industry are presented. Royal Oman Police launches new e-services to obtain certificates of not sentencing and of good conduct and behavior as it prepares to inaugurate a passport, e-passport and visa. And the first scientific conference in the field of mouth and dental medicine in the Wilaya of Sahar discusses the importance of continuous training and teaching for private health institutions. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of condolences to His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, Emir of the State of Kuwait, on the death of Sheikh, Sheikh Jabr Nasser Sabah and Nasser Al Sabah. His Majesty the Sultan sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Andre Kiska of Slovakia on his election as President of the Republic. The Shura Council refused to approve a recommendation by Youth and Human Resources Committee related to possession of public authority for manpower register. The Council returned to the Food Security Committee a report related to study of nudged firms and their role in achieving food and water security in the Sultanate. The Council also discussed draft amendments of some provisions of a traffic law and listened to opinion of the committee tasked to follow up awareness efforts exerted by National Committee for Drugs and Narcotic Affairs. The session was presided over by His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal Al Ma'wali, Chairman of the Shura Council. The Royal Oman Police launched new e-services to obtain a certificate of not sentencing and a certificate of good conduct and behavior where the new service enabled to fill up forms of these two certificates through ROP site from anywhere in and outside the Sultanate. On the other hand, the Royal Oman Police has signed an agreement to provide details of identity cards and residence cards for government units electronically. The agreement guarantees confidential preservation for data where it will not be possible to access or use unless by government unit requiring the details. Royal Oman Police plans to launch new electronic services top of which are the electronic passport and visa after achieving success during the last period in launching smartphone applications and the payment of traffic fines through mobile and electronic attestation servers. This came during ROP's participation in COMEX 2014 exhibition being held at Oman International Exhibition Center. ROP's participation in the event came to exchange expertise and raise awareness on its stages of electronic transformation plan through displaying its electronic projects and latest equipment and appliances for police services. It also showcases all electronic services offered via its website and mobile applications and presents documentary on ROP's history and traffic safety. In a step to provide investment opportunities for small and medium enterprises in the field of exhibitions and conferences industry, Oman Center for Conferences and Exhibitions organized a meeting in Muscat with a group of small and medium enterprises which included explanation on how a top benefit from these diverse investment opportunities. 
Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized an introductory meeting at its premises today. It gathered owners of hypermarkets as well as Omani industries and products with the aim to find the best methods for displaying products to customers. The meeting discussed enabling the SMEs to showcase the products in the showrooms of hypermarkets without fees. It also reviewed commercial establishments' commitment to trade rules and regulations. Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, TRA, presented several initiatives during COMEX 2014 exhibition being held at Oman International Exhibition Center. These initiatives attracted many audience. The electronic vehicle management is one of the projects at TRA's stall at the exhibition in it enables the user to manage, control and detect his vehicle by using GPS programs at telecommunication networks. The second project is showcasing the advantages of registration at Internet Domain Oman. The authorities stall also displays information about post services. International Seminar on Transformation into Statistical System in Gulf Cooperation Council countries at the end of its works today, stressing the importance of abiding by Gulf quality and data standardization. The seminar called for study and measure required of beneficiaries and producers of data and new requirements. Programming from statistical information within plan frameworks of Gulf Statistical Unit and to enhance coordination with organization and institutions in the council countries. The seminar started in Muscat yesterday under the title Productivity and a Challenge of Increasing Requirement for Statistics. In order to know actual reality of statistical system in the council countries and to define its future tracks. Still to come in our news bulletin. About 60 Omani chefs are participating in a unique competition organized by Oman Tourism College. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The first scientific conference in the field of mouth and dental medicine started in the Wilaya of Sahar. It discusses the importance of continuous training and teaching for private health institutions. It aims to develop the service provided for the society by dental medicine in private health sector, setting up a safe principles in combating infection and introducing children dental medicine, as well as presenting to health practitioner on non-suitable practices in treating teeth. During the event, work papers and various shows were presented which focused on physicians, assistants and practitioners working in the private health sector. Water overflowing from the top of Wadi Daika Dam in the Wilaya of Koryat was circulated by media means as the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources confirmed that the water overflowing came due to high winds that created waves in the dam which resulted in water overflowing. The Ministry mentioned that water quantity amounted to more than 98 million cubic meters of 100 million cubic meters.
The Sultanate, represented in the Ministry of Heritage and Culture, takes part in London International Book Fair in its 43rd round with the participation of more than 100 countries around the world. More than 1,500 people presented their works and more than 25,000 publication houses take part in the event. The presence of a Sultanate in the fair showed the movement of Omani culture publications such as Omani Encyclopedia, which is considered a full reference for the Sultanate of Yemen natural culture and civilizational aspects. Oman annual book was also displayed, which include all information data of economy, investment, inside and outside politics of the Sultanate. The participation of Omani works play a role to spread the culture and heritage of the Sultanate. Oman Tourism College continued its qualifying and training programs with the aim to promote the tourism industry in the Sultanate. It launched a unique competition, Oman Chef, to marketing Oman cooked meals and its culture with the participation of more than 60 chefs of Omani youth. It is organized for the third year in row to discover talents in cooking. It also aims to spread awareness of healthy food with preservation of Omani touch. Now for the general weather forecast. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of fog over parts of the governorates of Worcester and Dhofar. Winds will be northerly to northwesterly light to moderate. Seas along the coasts will be slight with a maximum wave height of one meter. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Shura Council refuses to approve a recommendation by Youth and Human Resources Committee related to position of public authority for manpower register. A group of investment opportunities for small and medium enterprises in exhibitions and conferences industry are presented. Royal Oman Police launches new e-services to obtain certificates of not sentencing and good conduct and behavior as it prepares to inaugurate e-passport and visa. And the first scientific conference in the field of mouth and dental medicine in the Wilaya of Asuhar discusses the importance of continuous training and teaching for private health institutions. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night. <laughs>